Hey there boys and girls of the YouTube world. Today the Dub Dog and I are gonna take this 2003 Chevrolet three quarter ton Suburban that's got a little deer head on the front and we're gonna fix it on the cheap. So the story on this thing is, this is my dad's Suburban. It was, he gave it to me for my birthday. What a nice guy. It's got like 230, 40,000 miles on it. It's got an 8.1 liter V8 torque monster, 4L80 transmission. Get some big old knobby tires. I guess I gotta give them both back. But anyway, he hit a deer with it. He went down and grabbed my brand new trailer down at Braddyville, Iowa. Brought it back, dropped it off. I was going to pick up an oxygen sensor for this thing from Napa Todd. Uh, and as he was leaving Napa, he uh, schmucked a deer. Long story short, insurance totaled it out. He bought it back. He gave it to me. Let's just take a look at this thing. So this thing's pretty good for around here, ain't it, Duff? came from a southern state we think in california when he got it about seven eight years ago we've had really good luck with it he put a back half on the transfer case he's went through several water pumps it typically uses about a quart to a thousand miles which is pretty common on these 8.1 liters it's an absolute towing monster it doesn't get that bad of mileage 12 ish something like that he's actually got 15 with it at times it's got leather interior moonroof four-wheel drive all that good stuff when you hit the deer it got the grill the bumper a little bit push the uh, core support and the radiator back got the transmission cooler this headlight bracket it tweaked this fender just a bit I think that's when the core support went back but and then this uh, front leading edge on the fenders pushed back as well so we got pretty much everything right here used from 7th Avenue Auto Parts for 200 bucks. Granted, this grill isn't perfect, but these grills are like 150 bucks new and another 150 to ship them. Bumpers, 120 bucks new, 200 bucks to ship them. Headlights, 100 bucks, uh, shipping wasn't too bad. Oh, I did get the coolant reservoir as well. I found that out the hard way, dumped the coolant in, snapped it off right here, I think, on the core support, shifted out, it got that. Now uh, there's our headlight bracket, headlight, park light, tranny cooler and then hopefully we can just straighten the bumper the reason i got the car trailer in here is we're going to back the car trailer up we'll probably take the bumper off first we're going to pin it against the frame and then we're going to kind of do the the tree chain thing come along like we did on the uh, impala on uh, the main channel but we're going to tie to the core support with the winch and we're going to use the trailer to straighten that out that way we get a nice controlled pull instead of just hooking it to a tree and backing up and ramming it because then you kink things and it pulls it too far. You can see a little uh, deer hair still under there. You can see some tranny fluid still weeping. Hopefully uh, we didn't wreck any tranny lines. Probably should have pressure washed it first, huh, Duff? That would have been a good idea. All right, I think first thing we're gonna do is, well, I'll show you what's going on underneath. I'm gonna open the hood and then we're gonna probably take the bumper off. Yeah, she's tweaked pretty good, but. We'll see if we can find a bumper. Check oil level. Well, we better do that. 236,839 miles. This thing's pretty good, like I said. It's got the moonroof, it's got the Bose. This seat cover is pretty blowed out and I could probably use replacement. But other than that, she's a good rig. We've had this thing to Iola a couple times at the car show. Like I said, it's been to Braddyville. We've taken it to Green Bay with six full-size adults in it. She's a, she's a good rig. He picked up. Pretty much the same thing, but it's got a six liter. He likes the three quarter tons, so. Here you can see why that fender's kind of kinked. Push the core support back just far enough, so we gotta pull that core support ahead to get rid of that kink. And I think that's where it, push the air box back, crack that coolant reservoir. This radiator was brand new, I think last summer, and it busted the mounting tab on it, but we're not gonna fix that. It's gonna be good enough for the girls we go with. Same deal, got the fan shroud. And of course, all this stuff is 8.1 liter only. But we'll fix her up. He does have a lifetime warranty Napa alternator on it. It's got a brand new battery in it. The, it's about a year old and it went bad and he warrantied it. He has put a gauge cluster in it at least once, I think twice. The condenser, I was gonna check to see if it's still holding the charge. This thing took a pretty good blow, but usually those things seem to hold up just fine. All right, Duff. Should we start ripping into her? I think that's what the air compressor means, is start doing some work. Less yakking, more wrenching.
bumper is off. Pretty simple. Take off the two fog light bulbs. And then there's a bracket that comes over here. One bolt on each side. Then you get this guy and uh, this guy from the top. So yeah, pretty much three bolts each side and a bulb on each side. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I did notice, I think it's, I don't know, bumper bracket, crush box, whatever you want to call it. She tipped back a little bit, so we might have to straighten that out and then re-weld it a bit. But I think that's what they're designed to do is fold back so that it's a crush point, I guess, right? So now we're gonna try to pin this up against the trailer and uh, tie on up here and see what happens. What do you think, Duff? Easy peasy lemon squeezy? Yeah. Did it bend to that other side? Oh, cracked her just a hair. That bumper took a pretty good blow, so we'll have to pull those out. Just a bit, or maybe there's enough adjustment. They didn't tip back much. That one didn't hardly at all, this one did. A little bit, I guess. Oh yeah, you can see there's a gap right here between the top of the frame rail and this crossbar. And this side, she's pretty much touching. I'm sure that's pretty common with these things, the way they're designed. Got our trailer lined up with the frame rails on the Suburban. We got all these fancy tie-down straps. Not a ratchet strap, it's for going over axles on nice cars that are painted is why I bought them. But uh, we don't have any of those around here, so. Only concern here is, you know, the winch is in the center of the trailer, so it's gonna wanna pull that way. And that's the bracket for the radiator. So hopefully it just kind of stays there. It's not going to want to go uphill, hopefully. But we'll uh, do some pulling and uh, set you guys up, hopefully, so you can see that. I don't think I can attach you to the core support because the magnet on my camera does not attach to aluminum. So we'll have to find something else. Get creative. Okay, Duff, keep an eye on that point right there. All right? You don't need thumbs for that. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I think we'll just uh, tap that down a little bit and should be good, Duff, what do you think? Give her a once over, give her your uh, stamp of approval. Good deal. God, that works slick. I think that deserves a sandwich. Hopefully smashing it flat will keep it from wanting to buckle when we release tension. Good to go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on these bumper brackets. I think I'm just gonna leave that side actually, but this side I'm gonna pull down just a hair and then we'll wheel the welder over and tack her back in place. I wish I had one of those uh, cordless remotes for the winch right now, which the other trailers have, but this was the trailer that was convenientist. Is that a word, convenientist? It sounds like scientist or something, but. All right, we're not gonna need a strap for that. That's steel and we're not worried about kinking it and it should bend pretty dang easy okay duff same thing keep an eye on it bark when it's time to stop Gap about the same as the other side. Good enough for the girls we go with. I was wondering if when we pulled that ahead, if that would take that little dent out of the fender, but it does not. But it looks like there's an access hole right there. So I'm gonna see if I can't sneak a bar in there and pop that out. This fender's got a hooey there and a hooey there. So a hooey everywhere. We'll see if we can't make it better though. I just don't like the gap. Super noticeable. We'll see what happens. Can't make it worse. Well, we can. Watch. Oh, look at that. Whammy! Whammy! Just uh, use our Coats tire iron bar thinger my bopper. You can't even hardly tell anymore. These fenders are so thin. It's downright shameful. The thickness of material they use on these things, like 24 gauge. 
It's like doubled up tin foil. All right, way better. Didn't cost us nothing, didn't have to buy a fender. Now we should uh, weld that and figure out what else we gotta fix while we got it apart. We probably should run it over to the pressure washer and get all that residual ATF out of there because I'm concerned that there's a leak in one of the lines and uh, what's on the floor is residual or if it's a line leak, so we might do that. We gotta get the trailer out of here anyway because I'm hoping we don't need it anymore. This thing is bracket is bent a little bit, but we ain't gonna worry about that. Should be fine. Famous last words. Okay, we got everything back together here. We got the wrong park light, so I put the old one back in there, but the uh, tanger right there that goes in the slot right there is no bueno. I heat shrink soldered our connection back together for whatever light that is. I think that's the daytime running lamp, which of course isn't working. All the other lights are working. I don't care about those. I did push a screwdriver in the Schrader valve and there's no AC, so I think we're gonna have to get a condenser coming. The tranny cooler's hooked up. These are just quick little push to connects. Had to find the Jesus clips and put in there because of course, I don't know, the tow truck company took them out of there or something. But I had a couple laying around from when I salvaged these things. We got the brackets welded up and straightened out. I'm gonna give this thing a good bath and then we're ready to figure out what we're gonna do next. Like I said, we're kind of hanging up, waiting on a park light. And then the headlight they gave me has got a busted bracket. So I uh, need one of those yet. But. It's drivable now. So let's get it washed up and then we can put the bumper back on it. And then the grills come in and out pretty easy and we can take that out and we get the uh, condenser. Yay for pressure washing. Oh, you love the pressure washing, don't you Duff? What do you think, Duff? Not gonna wrap her up. I got a new condenser coming from 7th Avenue. They're gonna hook us up with a headlight that the bracket ain't busted and the correct park light lens. And then I might have to see if there, I think there's a filler panel that goes right here. 
Let's we'll see if we can scrounge one of those up. I did stick a new bow tie in it. Dad always had a painted one in there and that one got busted up. So I bought a new one. It was like 40 bucks, really splurged. We took the license plate off, hammered out that bumper as good as I could. Looks like it can come out a little bit more there. Uh, this valance got hosed up too in the accident. And then the clips that hold this valance to the bumper got broke. So I just drilled a hole and put one of those push pins in there. That way it's black, nobody really sees it. And I think our gap's pretty good. I could probably tweak it a little bit. We'll see. I'm not really too concerned about it. We got that dent out of the bumper. Everything lines up pretty good. I guess we haven't shut the hood yet since we put the grill in. I think that'll do for a beater. It'll look a lot better once we get the right, and we get a park light that isn't busted, but yeah. Good enough for the girls we go with, right, Dolph? His tags are due to expire, so we'll get some new plates put on there. And we're ready to rock. Get the old uh, Suburban back in action. What do you say? Body work? Yeah, we're not body guys, but they're gonna total this thing out. So, I mean, saved another rig. Didn't have much into it. I probably have less than 300 bucks into it total. And I don't know, three hours of time, something like that, not bad. It's a pretty good Saturday. All right, we're gonna get back at it. See you on the next one. Let us know if you wanna see more uh, late model stuff or more bodywork stuff or tow vehicle stuff or none of the above. And you wanna see rusty old garbage as usual. All right, thank you very much for watching. Check out our other videos. Check out the merch down the link down below to uh, support my sandwich and uh, Duff's toy addiction, whatever it is that he's into these days. Remember, doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as you're having fun. Tone with an 8.1, a lot of fun. Until you gotta pay for the fuel.